And now, another behind-the-scenes look at Scooby-Doo. Well, Daddy gave us the money to start off. We didn't even have a car, so we gave our parents gas money to drive us around. Look, guys, a haunted house! Yeah! Wow. Oh, hooray! Right. Pull over, Daddy! Pull over! You're not going into any old, dirty house, little missy. Seeking their independence, they bought a van and called it the Mystery Machine. Shaggy found it. <laughs> it was... interesting. It's groovy! <laughs> After that, they skyrocketed to fame setting new precedents for the whole crime-solving industry. We didn't wait for stuff to come to us. We went straight out and found those monsters ourselves. Monsters? Behind the scenes of Scooby-Doo, only on Cartoon Network. And now, another behind-the-scenes look at Scooby-Doo. Sure, at first we were thinking, okay, a dog with an Adam's yeah. apple, a little strange. But we got used to it. So when he started talking, it really wasn't a big deal for us. But despite his special gift, Scooby did have his shortcomings. I don't think I've ever seen an animal get as scared as Scooby does sometimes. What about Shaggy? <laughs> as the Mystery Scene crew bonded, Scooby-Doo would with soulmate Shaggy Rogers form perhaps the most enduring partnership since Holmes and Watson. Like things just clicked, you know? Now when the gang needs bait for a villain, like they send us in, it's what we do. And I'll tell you, there's no one I'd rather work with. He said that? Whoa. You think Scooby gets scared with the monsters? Try finding him when it's time to go to the vet. Vet? Behind the scenes of Scooby-Doo, only on Cartoon Network. And now, another behind the scenes look at Scooby-Doo. The gang's most cowardly biped, Shaggy, was in fact known as Buzz until his 10th birthday. Some people may think Shag's skinny because Scooby's always stealing his food. That's not it. It's because he's a vegetarian. But as healthy as Shaggy tries to stay, he has battled unhealthy habits. Thing is, there were a few months when I was, like, overdoing it with the Scooby snacks. At one point, I calculated that he had eaten exactly 45% of his body weight. Zoinks! I had to quit! Instead, Shaggy turned to a new hobby. I have the largest collection of decorator belt buckles in the world. 653 in last count. I I'm wearing my favorite one right now. Like it's hard to catch, but I wear a different buckle for every mystery. You just gotta pay attention. Behind the scenes of Scooby-Doo, only on Cartoon Network. And now, another behind the scenes look at Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Daphne Blake has become known as the most fashionable member of Mysteries, Inc., but there's more to her than appearance. You know, Velma's not the only smart one. I get straight A's. We've said, Daphne, we're in a muddy swamp. Ditch the pumps. Even as a child, Daphne was interested in solving mysteries. What do you want to be when you grow up, Daphne? I want to be a supermodel. A supermodel? And a detective. Oh. Her aspirations have had a toll on her personal life at times. I was late joining the gang at Old Man Johnson's farm. I've lost more dates that way. Although there have been rumors of something between Daphne and Fred. Who told you that? We're friends. We're friends. Scooby! Behind the scenes of Scooby-Doo, only on Cartoon Network. <laughs> And now, another behind-the-scenes look at Scooby-Doo. Man, that thing must get steamy. Ascot, I like how it looks. By all counts, Fred Jones is the boy who has everything. Looks, yes, but smarts and talent, too. In fact, Fred traveled with a performance troupe before devoting himself to solving mysteries. With his dramatic training, he's really an expert at getting into the mind of a villain. Sometimes when we're scared, Fred sings a little something from Showboat. It soothes us. Old Man River. Fred one day hopes to be a famous mystery writer, where he can use all of his talents to the fullest. I just really feel like I'm doing something worthwhile. For me. 
behind the scenes of Scooby-Doo, only on Cartoon Network. And now, another behind the scenes look at Scooby-Doo. The youngest member has certainly had a big impact on the group. Jinkies! 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 I was so surprised. It, it just came out. Jinkies, I'm getting worried about Captain Morgan. Before, I just said, oh my. It wasn't as catchy. <laughs> Thelma Dinkley's parents pushed her from an early age to excel in her studies, resulting in hundreds of awards for outstanding achievement. Because of this, she can be a bit more vocal than her comrades would like. That harp case is big enough to hide something. I wonder where this path... Oh, come on, Fred. Isn't it obvious? <laughs> of course, Velma does do her share of sweet-talking, too. Scooby, will you do it for a few Scooby snacks? Okay. Behind the scenes of Scooby-Doo, only on Cartoon Great. Network. And now, another behind-the-scenes look at Scooby-Doo. <laughs> They've solved more than 200 mysteries together. What did they learn through it all? Watch out for paintings that blink. Yeah, what is it with bad guys and portraits anyway? We haven't been in one haunted house that had a landscape on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the time with that evil gorilla guy? Let me tell this. We finally catch this joker in a gorilla suit, and it was... He was stuck in tag. Right, right. And Freddy goes to pull off the mask, only it doesn't come off. And this guy is screaming <laughs> like it turned out to be a real gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it really comes down to. We find a mystery, run around, trap a bad guy, rip his mask off. And have a bunch of fun doing it, too. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. Knock it off. Behind the scenes of Scooby-Doo, only on Cartoon Network.